Hello everybody, happy December 1st. Starting off Bookmas with my November wrap up. I'm pretty excited because I did pretty good on my TBR this month. So I'm just gonna jump into all the books that I read this month. This is the best Olipop flavor, by the way. Okay, I'm just gonna hop into the video. I'm gonna go right in order and let's talk about all the books that I read in November. The first book I read was Lights Out. I did read this as an audiobook on Libby. I had seen this like in three different places. Everyone was saying to read it, so I did. And oh my gosh, was it one of the best audiobooks I've ever read? If it is like tentatively on your TBR, if you've been thinking about it, this is me telling you, as someone who does not really like dark romance, I would 100% recommend this book. It was just so funny and I really liked and enjoyed the characters and yeah, um, funny. It was like, it actually made me laugh and like it is definitely steamy and I was just talking to my roommate about it and it's just... It, I yes you need to listen to it I rated it four stars which for me is like shocking for the type of book this is but I can't deny it it's good next book I read was actually beloved this is like such a major <laughs> shift um this book is by the famous famous um winner of the Nobel Prize um Toni Morrison this is my second book that I have read from her I actually have two other books on her um on her backlist right here and Paradise is actually the third book in the like beloved trilogy. Um, this is a book about slavery. It is this is like su literally such a different shift from Lights Out, but this is um, following just the uh, after effects of slavery and how it like is a haunting of sorts. And Beloved is a ghost um, child who comes back and what that means. She represents slavery and. The turmoil of it and this is kind of um, a relationship between a mother and daughter a mother um, coming coming to terms with her guilt and coming to terms with the fact um, that she went through slavery so coming to terms with her past it's such a powerful story it's five stars I feel like Toni Morrison any of her works do not like you can't give them less than five stars to me personally. This was so beautiful. Uh, it is a deeper, like a little bit more emotional read, but I, I seriously recommend every single person should read it. And if you're, if you hear slavery and you're like, no, I'm not going to read that. You are probably the person that needs to read it the most. I, 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 that's all I have. That's all the words that I have for this story. It was so good. Um, love Toni Morrison. Can't wait to read more from her. Um, stunning. The next novel I read, this is actually another dark romance, and that is Hexed by Emily McIntyre. Rated this three stars. I think I've rated all the books in the series three stars, except for the first one, Hooked, which honestly I would probably rate that three stars, um, which maybe I actually changed that. I can't remember now. But this is a retelling of the Little Mermaid, but it's where the main character is Ursula. That's not her name in this story. It's uh, Ursa, Ursa, Ursa Vanessa, I think is the main character's name, and she ends up with Enzo, which is our Eric character, and it's basically like a mobster type of story, dark romance. They're fun to read. This was the last book in the series. I think it's called Never After is what the book series is called. Um, there's six of them and this one was I think it was in my top three for the retellings um, it's not like my favorite ever I'm glad I finished the series and they're fun they're very quick I would recommend like if you need a book to read on your kindle while you're walking on the treadmill this is what you should be reading moving on I also read The Wraith King by Juliet Cross. This was a recommendation from Heather McLary that I saw on her Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it was. And I rated it four stars. And I'm just like, this demon man, he knows. He knows. It was amazing. It was everything I yearned for in like a quick Kindle read. Um, and I think it's actually going to be a series. I'm pulling up good reads right now. Because it says number one. It doesn't have anything else listed, but I'm assuming this is going to be a continuation. I'm very happy with this. The kind of like, not really enemies to lovers, but like kind of the rituals that were in this, the betrayal that we saw, which I did kind of like, I guessed who it was going to be. But just like the anticipation, he's like super protective, but like in a demon, like it's okay way versus like, oh, get away from me. Um, 
yeah, I just, I really like that. And I think you guys should read it if you want like a demon romance, okay? And Heather McLary likes it, so you know it's good. Next book series we're gonna get into is the Dream Harbor series. I read all three of the books that are currently published. I believe the next one coming out is in March of 2025 and then September 2025. And I am just so sad that I have read these. Not because they're bad. They're all four stars. I love them so, so much. But I'm sad because I have to wait until March to read the rest. And that's just because these are the ultimate cozy book. This is the first one. It's called The Pumpkin... Uh, it's called The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. It follows Jeannie and her relationship with Farmer Logan. And it's it's so fun. It's like a cozy mystery a little bit. Let me go into the Cinnamon Bookstore. No, the Cinnamon... The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And this follows Hazel, which is a... Like, she's a bookish girl. And Noah, who is a fisherman. I do think this was my favorite one out of the series. Just because I loved... There was a little... There was another little mystery in this one. Um, there's actually, I guess there's kind of like little mysteries in all of them that like pull the main characters together. I, yeah, that happens in all three of these. Wow. I don't know why I didn't put that together, but I loved this one so much and oh, so good. And then this is the newest release, which was very, I'm very glad I read it just before the holidays and it's called the Christmas tree farm. Kira is our grump and Bennett is this like very overly cheery guy. He's actually the brother of Jeannie from the first book and I just loved it. It gives Snowden vibes, Christmas tree farm, love, love, love it. I, I, yeah, four stars. Honestly, I think like this entire series all together is probably going to amount to like a five star series, but all the books so far are rated, are rated four stars. And I cannot recommend them enough. I think this is the perfect time to read them. I will say this one starts in August, but I believe it ends, I believe it ends in November-ish. So it's not super fall vibes, but it's not like crazy, like too summery, I would say. Anyway, moving on. Can't rave about those enough. I listened to the Allie Hazelwood Two Can Play exclusive like Spotify audiobook. I actually got it on Libby. It was four hours, so quick. Five stars. I rate all of her stuff five stars just because I love it. It's so quick. It's so easy. It's fun. She's amazing at writing smut scenes. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Like, she's amazing at it. She does. She knows what she's doing. Um, and yeah, rated that five stars. So finally finished Tom Lake. I rated this four stars. I've been reading this since August with my friend Sina. Finally finished it. It was so beautiful, but I want to say it's pretty mundane. Like you're not getting a crazy story, which I, I wasn't expecting because it's a literary fiction story. I knew it was kind of going to be a character study. And honestly, like I don't know if I would have read this if it weren't for me and Sina reading it together. Just not because it's bad, because it's beautiful writing. I rated it four stars. I did enjoy the story and I kind of enjoyed the nostalgia surrounding it and the complicated feelings of Laura. I really liked. But yeah, it's a pretty like mundane is the best way I would describe it. Moving right along, the next book I read is another Allie Hazelwood book, and this is part of the Under the Mistletoe collection that Amazon is doing on Kindle Unlimited, and it is called it is called Cruel Winter with You. Apparently there's, I think there's five or six short, short novellas, so if you guys are needing to finish your, like, TBR, your Goodreads reading goal, read these because the, when I tell you this was, like, 70 pages, at most 30 minutes, to read this story. It was so good. Um, I, again, I love Allie Hazelwood. It's set over one night. Again, it is so quick. I think there was seven chapters. Um, yeah, I liked it a lot. I will say the box is creepy. That's all I'm going to say if you end up reading it. I personally thought that was a little disturbing, but for the sake of this book, it's fine. Then I read another Christmas novella that's on Kindle Unlimited by Lauren Asher. It's called My December Darling. Rated it at four stars. Honestly, I feel like it's a four and a half-ish star uh, for a novella. It's super good. I loved Catalina. I loved Luke. Catalina is a travel nurse and Luke is a surgeon. I think he's going through residency or he's a surgeon. I don't remember. But they are best man and maid of honor in Catalina's sister's and Luke's best friend's wedding. And it's kind of, 
a Dece it's set in December. They only have so many weeks of getting to know each other, bonding over Legos, and falling in love. And I was obsessed with that. I thought it was really cute. I also think the cover, I, I just forgot, it's right here. I think the cover is super cute. I love it. We get back into some more um, physical books now. The next book I read was Fledgling by Octavia Butler. This is a vampire-esque story. Um, I had to read this for class and it was actually really really good. It is, it's Octavia Butler so it goes into more than just like vampire. It's talking about race and power and gender and how all of those communicate with each other. Um, and I, I thought it did a really interesting job of um, like twisting what we know as the vampire. Uh, Butler is just amazing. I love her. This is my second book by her. And yeah, she's just so awesome. I also think this cover is like sick. But anyway, thought this was good. Moving on. The book I read is The Sin of Certainty by Peter Inns. Inns? I this a 3.75. I thought it was really good. Um, apparently he's controversial, but I thought this was pretty standard for my understanding. I think questions are good. I don't think we should be 100% certain in something. I don't know. I think that leads to kind of like being blind, but maybe that is controversial. Um, but anyway, read this. Glad to be able to get this back to Kristen because I've had it for probably half a year <laughs> six months so Kristen you're finally getting this back and guys I think this is our last book it is by Josie Silver and it is a winter in New York this is my third book by Josie Silver I rated this one three stars thought it was pretty good I didn't really like the miscommunication within it to me I'm just like just talk don't lie like the longer you go with lying the worse it's gonna be but I did kind of understand where Iris, the main character, was coming from. So I do, I want to give a little bit more sympathy to her. But overall, it was a three star. Usually my Christmas romances I read are three star, um, which is, I think it's good. Like, I would recommend it. It's not like a, st a show out, but like, it's pretty good. So yeah, this is the last book. I'm pretty excited. It is... It's 6 p.m. on November 30th, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to read any more books, so I feel confident posting this. I'm pretty excited. I want to try to figure out which books were on my November TBR and see how many I completed out of my goal. So I'm going to check because I feel like I did really good this month, which usually my TBRs, they're not touched at all. So let me double check and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm pretty sure I had nine books on my TBR. I had these six and then, wait, I had these six plus Hexed and then I had two other ones and that was Lost and Lassoed and the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying. So I had nine and I got seven out of nine, which is probably like one of the best like accurate months I've ever had. Um, I actually soft DNF the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying because I just feel like right now is not the right time. I think it needs to be summer when I read that. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty proud of that. And then Lost and Last Note I just didn't get to, but it is on my Kindle Unlimited and I'll read that eventually. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so excited for Bookmas. This is day one out of 12. I have 12 days planned for us um, leading up to December 12th, I guess. <laughs> Duh. Probably will be a few more vlogs throughout the month. I am planning on that, but we will see. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Let me know what you guys read, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.